you guys have been asking me for more Christmassy content in the month that it is being December, unless you're watching in the future or you're a time traveler watching from the past. Anyway, I love to give, so I'm going to give you some Christmas content. Now, I did ask you guys in the community section, did you want to see things that Americans do that make Europeans go, what the f***? Or did you want to see things that Europeans do that make Americans go, what the f***? And you guys said you wanted to see both. So we got to start with one today. We're going to look at some things that Americans do that really make absolutely no sense to us here in Europe. Like, we see them in movies and we hear about them through you guys, but we just don't do them. They sound utterly bizarre in a Christmassy way. Speaking of things that work well transatlantically, today's video is brought to you by Surfshark. Surfshark is an app and browser extension that basically lets you place your laptop or phone anywhere in the world and lets you access the internet as if you were in that country. It lets you access and unblock websites and content that you may not usually be able to see. It also adds an extra layer of security when you're on an open Wi-Fi network and keeps your passwords, photos, videos, etc. safe. The ones that you don't want anyone to see, like that thing that was growing on your arse. I'm currently in Spain and it allows me to access all my favourite Christmas shows from Ireland and you guys can do it from wherever you are in the world too. America, Canada, Zimbabwe. Do I have any viewers in Zimbabwe? I don't know. Answer. No. My favourite thing of all is it allows me to access 15 different Netflix libraries from across the world, so there is literally no Christmas movie I cannot watch. Surfshark are feeling the festive spirit and they've given me code DIANE to give you 83% off plus 4 extra months for free. Thank you Surfshark for supporting this channel and on with the video. Okay, this first one actually was highlighted to me at Thanksgiving, but I guess we're talking about the holidays overall because that's what people call Christmas sometimes now, the holidays. You guys cook your turkeys in bizarro ways. Like I've seen people on the internet putting their turkeys in giant barrels, hog tying them and bringing them over massive amounts of flames in their back gardens and all sorts of stuff. Now, I get that it's hard to put a massive turkey in the oven, especially if you're feeding a lot of people, but for some reason in Europe, we just don't do these crazy ways. We find a way to make it fit. I actually find it quite ingenuitive and kudos to you guys. Also, it looks really fun, but could result in disaster with like exploding gasoline and stuff. But moving on. The next thing that you guys do that we do not do in Europe is you send around family Christmas cards. Like this is a photo shoot of your entire family dressed in like red, white and green stuff, including your dogs and your babies who don't want to be there. And you send it around to all the people that you know. We just don't do that in Europe whatsoever. I cannot imagine my family getting together and doing a photo shoot like that. I mean, some families do do photo shoots, but they don't send around the cards for Christmas. It seems a little bit sickly sweet. Like, when is your family ever that happy and were your children sitting comfortably during that photo shoot? Probably not. Those are the best pictures. They're probably the best moments from your chaotic photo shoot. We are that happy. I do appreciate a good picture of a dog on a Christmas card though, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so Santa flies but once a year and on his travels he needs a little pick-me-up. So, kids leave out a little gift for Santa, all well and good. But in America, you guys leave out milk and cookies. Now what grown man actually wants milk and cookies when he's flying around the world doing one of the hardest jobs in the world? In Europe we leave him various different alcoholic beverages because you know, Santa needs an old pick me up. I will say though it did not occur to me that technically he's like drink driving so that's a mixed message for kids. In Ireland we leave him out a whiskey, here in Spain they usually leave out a liqueur. And of course you leave a special carrot for Rudolph. All those poor old reindeer must be just watching Rudolph eat his carrot and they're not getting offered any carrots. I hope he shares. Rudolph. The next thing that Americans do that we just don't do in Europe is Christmas caroling to people's doors. We do have Christmas caroling. I've even been in a choir that stood on Grafton Street once or twice. But we don't go round to our neighbours' doors with our families. Who's to say that every member of that family can sing well? And also, if somebody just pulled up to my front door and started singing at me, it would be so freaking awkward. Like, do I just stand there and smile? Or like, can I not smile? Can I just like look at them? And what point do they move? Do they just keep moving on to the next song? Am I supposed to give them money or a snack? And if I give them a snack, what if they're like allergic to peanuts and there's peanuts in it and then they have an allergic reaction? Am I to be held liable? 
the film always cuts off before I see the end of the Christmas caroling. Like, they always move on to the next scene. You never see what happens at the awkward ending of them leaving the house. Also, I could very well be standing here with spot cream on my face and rollers in my hair when you rock up. That would be embarrassing. I like people to announce that they're going to visit me. I don't like impromptu call-ins. And so I would probably be the person cowering behind the door just hoping everybody goes away. Although I would enjoy the caroling if I were prepared. But do they announce that? Do they put leaflets through your door saying that they're going to be around at 8 o'clock? The difference between European Christmas caroling and American Christmas caroling is we don't go to the houses, we're just out and about on the street. Oh hey, looks like we're at the halfway point of this video. Let's think like an American and plug our second channel, huh? Just a reminder, if this whole Christmas shtick has gotten too sickly sweet for you, go check out my dark channel, Day On Before Dawn, where lots of creepy dark tales are. Complete contrast to this channel. The next weird Christmas thing that Americans do is eggnog. What is eggnog? I still don't think I've actually tried eggnog. I could stand corrected. Maybe I did it in a taste test or something. But to me, the idea of eggnog is just so bizarre. You only drink it once a year and it's kind of akin to our Baileys. Like I cannot imagine drinking Baileys any other time of the year other than at Christmas time. Is it like blasphemous to drink eggnog at Easter or something? Why does it not come out any other time of the year? I guess maybe it's similar to turkey and chicken. Like no other time of the year are you going to optionally have turkey over chicken because let's be honest turkey is just not as nice as chicken you know the next thing americans seem to do and okay i'll give it to you guys you have given us christmas lights big time we did not used to do christmas lights to the extent that we do now a decade ago we've definitely adopted it from watching too much national lampoon's christmas vacation we put up christmas lights on our houses now some people even go really far and they put up like crazy cool christmas lights I've seen some pretty cool houses, but I've yet to see one on the level of like some of the viral light shows that you guys have on the internet. But one thing that you do that does not happen here, and maybe again, this only happens in the movies, but I see people stapling the Christmas lights to their home. First off, I don't really know how that works. Maybe it's something to do with the roofing being a little bit different in Europe and America. We tend to have concrete slabs on our roofs, so you can't actually staple anything to them. And I think in America you have like a very heavy tarpaulin. I think it goes over whatever you actually have on your roof. But that's got to be really tedious to get rid of afterwards. Do you just have giant staple gun openers that you take them off with or do you inevitably end up just leaving the staple part in and taking the lights out that's also going to be not good for your roof right the next thing is more of a question than a statement another thing i've seen in the movies it's that you guys bring cocoa and cookies and and nutmeg ginger things to your neighbors does that really happen are you like happy christmas neighbor here's some warm cookies from our home because if somebody did that to me i'd just be really suspicious and i'd think that maybe they want to kill me in my sleep or something also do you actually call hot chocolate cocoa or is that just a thing that people say in the movies because cocoa sounds freaking cozy we say cocoa but only when we're like using it technically in cooking and stuff usually you're just drinking a hot chocolate but you guys say hot cocoa and it's really cute and finally, the very weird thing that you guys do at Christmas time that just no, can't relate to, don't get it. You guys say on Christmas. I, like I go to my family's on Christmas. Or how do you celebrate on Christmas? Why is it on Christmas? We say at Christmas. Isn't that weird? Isn't it weird how you say that and we say the other and we both speak English? Probably, unless you're watching this video and... It's subtitled in another language. But yeah, grammatically, on Christmas, like I can see a context in which I would say on Christmas, like on Christmas day, we're going to go to my relative's house. But actually, no, I'd probably still just say at Christmas, I'm gonna go to my relative's house. Anyway, why do you do that, America? <laughs> Anyway, those are just some observations that I have that are different culturally. Let me know below in the comments if there are things that you think that you do that are weird, especially specifically in your own family. Now do be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe because the algorithm is a horrible thing and it's Christmas, so good karma. 
Today's first very special shout-out goes to birthday boy Yoshi. Yoshi is a Vegas and Disney aficionado, and he recently sent some really cool items to me and Chewie, including a special t-shirt for editor Diane. Thank you so much, Yoshi. I hope you had an amazing day. Today's second shout-out goes to our very kind soul, Ricky Carey. He wants to give his shout-out to mall Santas and store Santas that work through the holidays listening to children's wish lists and dreams. Santa takes pictures with children to make memories to look back on when the kids get older. Thanks, Ricky. I'll see you on the other side. Bye go what the f or did you want to see things that europeans do that make americans go what the f hi are you in the video i i literally just wasn't in my body there for a minute mm, whenever i wash my hair before a video it's like too soft does anybody else get that like that sounds like such a not complaint it's not a complaint, but it's like too soft to style. It just sits terribly.